I'm dropping off a 12 yard dumpster here in uh, Plano, Texas. And it looks like it's a corner house. So let's get on with this show. you know one of the things that always gets in the way when we're doing this is the trash cans so that's why we always got to remove them from yards it's a deal breaker but it's always a problem when you're delivering a 12 yard dumpster and the biggest problem is that gas you don't want to back in and hit this thing because to replace this it's 800 bucks i've only done it one time and i did it in the colony texas so my angle to come in the driveway from this way is not a good idea so what you would think is that i would get the truck go forward and then back into this but then as you're backing in that's your biggest problem and that folks is a no-no if i come in this way and then back into that way i don't have to worry about the gas meter at all i just got to worry about the trash cans trust me you rather hit trash cans than hit a gas meter so guys I gotta go around the block again. Here we go. driveway doesn't allow me to just drop it off in one place but uh after a few tries i finally got it uh i do this all the time so imagine how hard this was holy cow Not even a scratch. So here's what we're looking at. Um, it's still sticking out a little too farther than I imagined. So my idea is to hit it with the truck and just push it back. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna back up the truck and just hit the dumpster back. That way I have enough room. Cause uh, honestly, when I come pick it up, I'm gonna need all the backing room that I have. I mean, I had a, such a hard time backing it up that I'm gonna need all the room to maneuver so i can get back here and pick it up when i gotta pick it up next week so that's my idea so watch this uh shit show it doesn't hurt much just a little love don't realize that one of the most important things you always got to do because the neighbors will get pissed off I mean well the homeowner will get pissed off is that you always got to put the trash cans back where you got them because I've had it where we moved the trash cans and the customer gets pissed because we forgot to put them back so whenever you're dropping a 12 yard dumpster always put the trash can back Diego Wow, uh, 
that's how you deliver a 12 yard dumpster um wasn't the best thing i've ever done but i mean we managed to complete it and it only took us 15 minutes to do it so i got some people that asked me how long does it usually take and i said five minutes this one took 15 minutes just to deliver the dumpster it was just because the driveways really shaped really weird that's why i had a harder time to actually put the dumpster in its place but heck it's done i finished and i'm happy to deliver a 300 dollars dumpster um, that's the thing about it guys this is one of the angles that we use here in dallas fort worth is the fact that the junk guys not only does do, do we do junk removal but we can actually oops wrong gear we can actually drop off 12 yard dumpsters six yard dumpsters and coming up pretty soon two yard dumpsters so this is the chance that we get that other companies can do like the big boxes like 1-800 and junk king they're not able to drop off whoa that's my change six yard dumpsters or 12 yard dumpsters all they can do is junk removal so this is how i'm able to change the business for myself and my family of course and give us more jobs throughout the day than the normal junk removal business so if you're wondering why y'all aren't doing more jobs than i am it's because well i have other things i can offer so that puts me on top too anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i gotta get out of here i'm going to the next job but that's how you drop off a 12 yard dumpster in dallas texas talk to you later